Back again, getting my chest back, back. Oh no! <laughs> so hello everybody and welcome back to. Uh oh, when you would you mind like moving the? I can't see my pretty face. <laughs> Alri Legend. So welcome back sooner than expected. In fact, this should be going up the next day. <laughs> Maybe it is. Anyway, I went to Smith's today again. Because I was supposed to go yesterday, but then I got that package from Mattel. And I was like, oh, well, do my job for me. Uh, I had a great experience. Um, <laughs> when I was, I saw what we're, you know, we're going to be boxing today. But it was on a really high shelf, high up. And I was like, I'm a tall guy. But even I can't reach that. Uh, hence what you're seeing in the footage. Uh, so, I can't believe I had to do this. I had to go to the main desk, the main, the front desk, and be like, yeah, there's a toy I can't reach. <laughs> like a little kid. <laughs> she was so happy. She's like, oh, okay, where is it? I was like, oh, it's a Jurassic dinosaur. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I didn't think I would be this old and asking for someone to get toys down off a shelf for me. <laughs> but she got the ladders out. It was the car car, you know, the car car on a source we're recording here today. So it was, but it was right next to the Jeep, like the Jurassic Park Jeep with Dennis Nedry and stuff. And I went, she went, oh, which one is it? And I just instinctively went, car car. So she ended up bringing down the car. <laughs> I was like, uh, no, the car car. <laughs> Car. <laughs> Been an interesting day anyway. I thought I'd share that with you on, on, on the video when it was a, a good reaction to get. Anyway, presenting the toy today, the one, the only, a beautiful assistant. Ah, oh, look gorgeous as ever. Jesus, there we go. Whoa, she's, she's got a good arm on her. I'll, I'll tell you that. Off you go. Bye bye. Four. <laughs> Introducing the Carcarodontosaurus for the first time ever in the Dress Park franchise that I'm aware of. We see it. Look at it, Winnie. Get some good close ups of it. Actually, Winnie, could you come and get some good close ups of it, actually, please? So here is. <laughs> said car car. <laughs> so the main reason, well, one of the big reasons that I'm actually, you know, sort of recording today's video um, is because I saw this and I was like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Now, in the past, now I can actually talk about it because I didn't know whether I could actually mention Hasbro in the last video because Mattel and legal reasons. This reminded me of, if you remember, I will get it just now. Da, 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 da. There he is. The hybrid, whatever it was called, I don't, I can't remember. This was a tie-in, basically, for Jurassic World the game. An Indominus Rex that, for whatever reason, had spikes come out the back, <laughs> like that. And if you were ever, if it still hadn't broken, actually, at that point, let's see. Oh, is it? Which one is it? There you go. Chomping feature. You see that, Winnie? You want to see it again? Wait for it. It'll do it. Yeah, God, yes, you're a choo-choo train, yes. Oh my God, how much wind-up do you need? There. Okay, well, it's supposed to do multiple chews. Either way, it kind of reminded me of this, because for the longest time, we just had Hasbro's dinosaurs, or Mattel's kind of dinosaurs. But when I saw this Carcharodontosaurus, you recognize it? Because I kind of do. That's right. I think it's pretty much basically lifted from Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, this, this, I think, in the entire lore of the franchise, of the Jurassic franchise, is the first time that we've ever seen Carcharodontosaurus represented uh, in the in-game form, which was Jurassic World Evolution, and now said toy form. And I, what we'll do is we'll, of course, we'll unbox it and take a look. But first, before we do, and we compare, we compare it. Are you done? So we'll take a look at it, and before we do, we c we'll compare it to its, you know, other counterparts, the video game counterpart. Uh, well, let's have a look at the packaging. So, if I look, this is the new Dino. Okay, hold on, I'll get, I'll get a center. There you go. Look at that center frame. That's, that's 
Cinematography, James, yes! <laughs> this is the first or one of the first new ranges coming from Mattel of Dino Escape, which Scorpius Rex was a part of, even though I got it in its weird, like, press kit release thing, which was all the different lab doors and such. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it there, look! Oh, wow! A pop-out card! What's one of those? Anyway, so we've got like a broken uh, enclosure, some pteranodons flying in the background. Uh, there's a lovely thing down here showing its action feature. And then if we look at the back, you've got a more in detailed uh, look at its action feature and the reason why it even does its action feature in the first place. And that is because it comes with its own capture gear. <laughs> I honestly don't know if we've ever had capture gear ever. I think the legacy T-Rex, like the baby T-Rex, came with some capture gear. Um, I know Whitney. Whitney was very disappointed. So I, I had to console her for a couple of days. She's very disturbed. Isn't that right, Winnie? What's a capture gear? <laughs> The packaging is actually really nice. Um, the model as well is really nice too, because of course it's ripped straight from Jurassic World Evolution. Before we get into that, I'm, I'm gonna head myself. Let's take it out the box, shall we? Ah! Remember kids, always cut towards yourself. Ah! Yes, it is free. Watch. Yeah. Winnie, zoom in on that. Anybody wants to scan it in their game. There you go. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so car, car, and Dinosaurus. Part of the Dino Escape set. Oh, oh. So, look, let's have a look at it. Let's, let's have a, have a close look. Let's get nice and close. So the model does, in fact, I'll put up a side by side when you get some nice close ups here of it. And uh, next to its in-game counterpart. I've got to admit, with Jurassic World Evolution, uh, it's it's weird, right? Because nowhere on the box is, it should be. It would be really cool if it was like as seen in Jurassic World Evolution. It'd be like, oh, it's like the from the like, and that's the thing I think with these kinds of toys, it would work really well if they sort of just did some like cross pollination kind of promotion. Is is that cross pollination promotion? Is that is that? Although, well, they're words. I don't know if they make sense, but they're words. They're words. They're words. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look at the model itself. So you've got some articulation in the tail, always good to have. Although you've got some weird kind of articulation because if you bend the tail all the way down, it kind of looks like, it, it's, it's, it, you see that Winnie? It looks kind of like a snake that's eaten something. It's got stuck. It's like, it's got like a bit of a bulbous bit in its tail. It works fine there. If you bend it down a bit too much, oh, oh, no one's going on there. It can rotate, bend, all that jazz. The legs, just like we've seen with a lot of Mattel uh, dinosaurs, they can sort of do a little bit of the squat, squat remover, squat remover, squat maneuver. Uh, squat remover, oh, I don't know what that is. Its feet are nice and thick and chunky. Body, nicely textured. You've got this lovely pattern. I wonder if it is actually anything like a skin from Jurassic World Evolution. Yes. But it definitely looks similar to like the basic skin, just it's a little bit lighter. I think a lot, of, a lot of the dinosaur toys with Mattel have this kind of, I mean, you see them all together. They all have a pastel uh, shade to them as if the, that was like the color palette that people were using on, in, on the Mattel team. The head sculpt is exactly like I remember it from Jurassic World Evolution. It's, it's narrow. I don't know whether it is scientifically accurate, but I mean, we're talking Jurassic Park here. We, we ain't gonna get scientifically accurate. Also, if you have a close look at its head, it's given the classic Jurassic Epic Park, look, with his top teeth just kind of hanging over the edge. Don't know, don't know exactly know why that, that's the case and why I couldn't just had all teeth showing. Now, the action feature, let's have a look. What do you do? Ooh! Ooh! Oh, so... Oh, he has the tiniest of bites! It's like... Mm. Oh, if you do it slow enough, it doesn't even do it. Yum. <laughs> Car Caradonosaurus, the dinosaur named after its own teeth, I think. Or something like that. And look at the bite it does! Yeah, <laughs> that is that is interesting. Oh, oh! So we got a we got a two biter. Is mine broken? It does two bites. That that bit you press, it's squishy. Don't know why that's squishy. Uh, that is so weird. Okay, well we got we got a little bit. We got a different material here. Three different types. You got the tongue, the mouth, and the teeth. A little bit of uh, paint application mishap there on the teeth, going a little bit on the gums. But you know, I mean, what can you do? Hey, we're talking about paint application. If you look at the claws and the toes. They aren't painted. And really, if you're going to the extent, I mean, the reason that you're painting the teeth, in some cases, and you can actually see that there's an orange airbrush spray, airbrush spray, all the way down it, uh, up to the body, and then they've put another coat of brown over the top, but they couldn't do 
the claws. <laughs> I mean, apart from that, I don't have anything else to say. What, what I could say, maybe you want like a little bit of white in the eye just to make it pop. But apart from that, the, the model, the paint application, the articulation that you have for the hands, you got up and down, left and right with the, L, the shoulder joints there. It's a solid toy, really. Just why the nails? You, I mean, even with blue, we had, hold on, let's see. We got dark gray toes, actually. And in fact, the earlier blue, this is different. The earlier blue had um, no white with the blue, on the blue stripe, I should say. It was just blue. Um, and in fact, actually, I love I love this because you look on this side, the blue strap goes to the eye. On the other side, it doesn't, which is actually what blue is like in the movie. And the old blue um, didn't have its toes painted. So we've got even better paint applications here. We've got a little bit of white and we got the toes done. However, they missed the claws. Don't know why. We, of course, with these little toys, you've only got articulation up and down. You don't have left and right like the shoulder, like you do with a car car. And kind of go, he's got a happy little hands. Look at him. He's like, ha, clap, clap. Ha, ha, ha. And also, if we look at the bottom of it, you've got a nice spray of an underbelly on the blue the blue figure that we unboxed the other day. And I completely oversighted that because I was kind of looking at Scorpius. And you don't really have any of that on the car car. The mold is perfect, as is most of the Mattel line. But just a tiny few bits here and there that I think they're trying to go for the uh, the Amber collection. is supposed to be the one that's like, oh, you want perfect paint applications? You want the perfect model? Go for that one. And even there, I think they're missing a couple of things, but just a trick with the claw and the toes is all I need. And you've got to, it's perfect, really. I, I can't argue with it. Now, on to the most interesting bit that comes with this, uh, this thing. Don't know really what it is. All I know is that you're supposed to put it onto his head. I haven't seen anything like this since the good old Kenna days with the Lost World, every dinosaur came with its own capture gear, the raptor, the Pachycephalosaurus, um, Stegosaur even had its own capture gear, I think. But anyway, you wanna get that off? Yeah, beautiful, there you go. Gorgeous, isn't it? Little action feature. Because when it comes to Mattel, you don't really get too many um, like play sets. So you kind of just have to make up your own stuff. And you know, kids, I know when I was a kid, I was always making up little, little stories where the army men or whatever would capture the dinosaurs. And stuff like this just adds to that sort of playability. And kids will love that sort of stuff. Ready? Are you ready, Winnie? Ooh! Also, if you look at the box, we have yet another Stegosaurus. I think this is the third Stegosaur that we've ever seen. Yeah, there you go, Winnie. Um, from Mattel. Uh, I think the first one was the, the green one. The second one was like the brownie one uh, with, with some weird uh, colors thrown in there. Oh, it does have dual chopping action. He does two num nums. Oh, wait, he kind of did. There you go. If you do it fast enough, he bites twice. That is weird. I, and again, like I said, I have no idea why we have a rubber bit on the back for for the for the pressy button. I'd love to know what the thought was behind that. Can he actually? What? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Actually, what about the? Okay, so we got the locking. We got like that's a lock, and that's a lock. Reminding me of the old times of the dinosaurs when they used to stand up like that and go. Meh. <laughs> Can you do when you're up here? Yeah! Oh, it looks like something from that, um... I come with those old paintings or drawings of, like, dinosaurs with lasers and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, guys, in conclusion, a very good toy. A few missed opportunities with the paint application, I'd say. Uh, the action feature is brilliant. I love... I, I love this... You know what? I wasn't really much of a fan of the, the design in Jurassic World Evolution, but seeing it as a toy, it kind of works. It works stood up like that, and then it works, you know, more of a natural pose. This little capture gear, really nice little touch. I don't know why we don't see more of this. We're probably going to get T-Rex with their own. I'm sure it's already happened. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is a T-Rex, and that's how Scorpius Rex got spoiled, because it was on the back of it. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, and you want to see more unboxing videos, leave a suggestion of what you want to see unboxed next down in the link in the description below. Uh, link in the description below. I'm so used to saying links in the description below. <laughs> but if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>